Hi guys, so, um, you know, I just got in a Spellbinders um, order. You know how earlier, if you watched the Spellbinders video I just put out with the... Sorry, I'm going to plug my camera in. The um, uh, stamp of the, the month and the small die of the month for January. Um, I had mentioned that I know one of my orders shipped out from Spellbinders, so that they are probably about a couple weeks behind right now. And then I got this package delivered. So I want to show it to you guys because, you know, I like to haul my stuff. But, um, which reminds me, any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. Um, so this is one of the orders. I placed two orders. So the, the other one I think I placed maybe a day after this one. And that one already shipped too. And this actually shipped on the 18th. So I got it in two days. But again, they're in Arizona and I'm in California. So it's not like... And it's through UPS. So it, And they probably sent it faster just because... <laughs> of them being a little behind there. Um, so, I had mentioned that in the other video, and then I didn't realize, or I hadn't checked my emails, they have $25 off a $100 cart, and they don't care what you put in the cart, as long as it's 100 bucks. It can be clearance stuff or sale stuff. If it reaches 100 they automatically take off the 25 Of course, if you're a club member, you get that 10% off in the prices that you see already there. It's not a coupon at the end or anything like that. They just take it off. The prices that you see are already with a 10% off, right? So, um, so that's pretty cool. And what else? Yeah, so that's a pretty good sale because it's basically 20% off, off, right? Whatever, $100 or more that you purchase. So, having said that, let's open this box up. I know there's a lot of fun things in here. A lot of these things I checked because um, before I came on here because I was kind of curious about <laughs> what is in the box, actually, <laughs> before I opened it. I'm like, what did I get? Uh, a lot of the items are still on sale, so that's good. Or on sale again, should I say, because I know the sale from this one ended. So what happened is, you guys know, I discovered, even though personally discovered, I think I had heard from a couple of you guys, and then uh, Yana, Yana's the lady from Spellbinders that I work with, and she has a YouTube, Yana Smakula, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but she's the lady that kind of I work with with Spellbinders to do these things. And um, she, uh, she said, I think it works with it, <laughs> so that's kind of why I even tried it. But I know, I, th I think a few of you guys had told me that you tried your uh, glimmer foils, which is what they called from Spellbinders, in your foil press and that they worked. And that some people had a hard time using the actual foils from Spellbinders in the foil press. So it needs to be at a higher temperature if you're if it's going to work. So I got some foils just to try it out too. So I will do another video about that. Talking about that, I did... A video early this morning I put out of organizing my craft room like pretty much just going through stuff because I know you guys like to see that sometimes and I'm kind of debating using that as my busted out I know you'll be like no 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 I need you to see <laughs> see you doing something I'm trying to get out of it here but I had other two other videos I had to make today that are for lunches that are later so as far as you guys have seen I've done two videos you know the one with the spellbinder stuff and then the one from earlier that I actually recorded a couple days ago but I've made four videos other than that today well all together and I'm kind of tired guys I'm sorry maybe I'll, I'll get something going but let me know maybe you guys can encourage me <laughs> so these are some of the stencils I got look at this I love this because they're like eight and a half by eleven I mean they're really big but each section is obviously like a good card front like a standard a2 size card so this one is jm-0121 usually I'll have the links for different things um, in the description box I don't know the name of this one other than that number so um, it has like the shells I love that little feather like this so cool and that I always love palm like leaves I love it and I always call those palms. They're not even palms. They're a little, more like monstera. What are they called? I can't remember. I don't remember. I can't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. JM0120 is the one that comes right before that one. Look at these flowers. Ah, oh, so pretty. Love it. So I grab those. Like I said, I think those are still on sale. And then a bunch of foil things. That's basically where I was getting at. And I also want to show you a couple things that um, I know Spellbinders is sending me. Well, they're sending me one thing for sure. Um, that is in, is already on their site, so I'll probably get it in a few days, but if you're interested in doing the 25 off 100, maybe that's something you want to put in your cart, that way you get it on sale, because it is one of the new items, so it's not going to go on sale for a little while, um, if it goes on sale, well, before, you know, sometimes they sell it and then they don't even put it on sale, but I'll show you in just a minute what I'm talking about, but look at this, so the Glimmer Foil, and of course I had to get Rainbow Foil, and these are Hot Foils, since it says Hot Foil System, and then these guys love it. And a lot of times, most of the time when you do foil things, it's like small lines or, you know, that you actually foil. So you might just get some of this on there, but it's going to look so cool. So this one is the variety pack. Uh, like I said, I'll try them out just so we can make sure that they're good in the um, Crafter's Companion 
foil system. And then also, um, oh, today's the last day for $5 cart in HSN. Let's say you forgot about the sale or there's something else you want to pick up, but today they're still doing the $5 cart for the day. If there's anything left that you would like to pick up. I think most of us were like, ooh, we, uh, we are done. <laughs> but maybe you forgot something or maybe uh, you missed the sale to begin with or the, the craft day. It looks like a lot of things that didn't sell out are still the same price, like the little reduced price. And also, again, another reminder, if you purchased anything before the craft day, make sure to go into your order status and just click on the items that you picked up because they might have dropped in price. And then all you have to do is chat there online or give HSN a call and they will credit you back like in seconds or minutes, depending on if you're calling or <laughs> online. All right, let's check this out. There's lots of stuff here. Stylish script. Thank you and happy birthday. And... That's what it says. I've wanted something generic that I thought was going to be pretty, so I grabbed thank you and happy birthday. This one is still on sale right now. He's so cute. The Merry Hugs. So, I don't... To me, this isn't super Christmassy. I just thought it was adorable with the little... He looks like a Boston Terrier. We had a Boston Terrier, and he was a mess. Um, anyhow, <laughs> so... Um, he was just a stubborn dog oh my gosh um but he has a little bow and then his little glasses and it says merry hugs but you don't really have to do that and then his little crown how cute to put that like by his little ear i think this is adorable look at that <laughs> so it's not really christmasy but um that's where they had it and i picked this up just because it was on sale for a good price and i'm like i love this little guy look at him so there's the spooky greetings and then I love this font, just the way it's just so clear and crisp and beautiful. So these are foil presses. This, well, these guys, glimmer foils. This is a die set, and I'll put it over here. Uh, the Birthday Wishes Everyday Sentiments 2. Again, this one has all these fun things that you can just pop on a card and it's done. And I know that's very trendy right now with this kind of look and it's pretty, why not? And then this is interesting, it comes with a die, which is very big. <laughs> so you can put it right here and then, or wherever you want and then put it across your card or something. Pretty. I didn't know it came with this die, so that's cool. Um, Lahaina uh, cut and emboss folder. I like that. Lahaina. Look at. So I hope you can see it's like very tropical. I love this. I love these folders because it just gives a little something different, and they're so easy to work with. Just throw it through your machine with like the plates, the cutting plates. I do not put these in my diamond press, but you know I've heard people doing whatever they do. <laughs> That's up to you. Uh, this one's called Floral Reflections. Looks like they put a little sticker on that. I, th I just like what they show right here. Just the simple cutout with the silver paper and then they just pop the flower on top. And that's why I like these cut and emboss ones, especially from them, just because they're so decorative. Um, I know I have some, or tons actually, from Crafters Companion. It's usually a big area that's cut out because it's a little bit different the way you're supposed to use it. I just love this because it just slips in the background and looks so pretty for so many different cards. Now, this one I was curious. I don't know if I have this one already. It looks familiar because it looks like something I would buy, but I don't know if I picked it up yet. This is a 5x7. The other ones are uh, standard A2 size. So this one's called Sedona. And again, you can put an A2 piece of paper in here. You don't have to make it a 5x7, but it is bigger. So pretty. Hopefully you can see that. And then it cuts those little apertures just here and there. Sedona. All right. Laurel uh, and bows. Now, this is funny because I just mentioned that the other one usually cuts a big... This one does have an aperture in it. But that's what I wanted, so it's not a big deal. But I love that. Look how pretty this one is. Oh, hopefully you can see that. Um, and let me see if it's very Christmassy. I can't really tell. It looks like it's not that... I mean, there's like bows and there's like leaves. But I don't think that this is the most Christmas thing I've ever seen. I mean, I wouldn't mind putting it in the background of any card. So, pretty. Oh, this one's so cool, especially the way they presented it. I don't think I bought the other dies. But there's like a little elephant. It looks very, I guess, like an Indian motif or type of thing. And and then they put these at the bottom of the card. And I thought they were so pretty. So I picked these guys up because I'm like, well, I really use the elephant. You're supposed to kind of layer it up. And if you want to do that, you have to cut into it. And I try to, I like things that just have layers that are just going to go, right? They're just going to work. Or you have the layers for, the dies for each layer. So this is Art Deco Borders. These are foil presses or glimmer foils, whatever you, foil dies, should I say. But it's so pretty, and look at the detail. So, oh, I just had to get this one. And then this one says, oh, happy day. And I've never really tried this kind of thing where it just puts that on the card, and it's very deep. I don't know if these are interesting. These are very much different from the ones I just showed you, or like the other ones. It's thick, ooh, maybe this is the kind of thing you wanna use with like those, those fun ones, you know, cause you'll see more of it. Um, but oh, happy day, and it's very chunky. This is interesting, I like that. Oh, the other thing is, um, uh, oh, this thing's out of stock actually right now, the Glimmer Foil system, but it would have been a good price if it was in stock because <laughs> it's on sale and then you get that 25 bucks off. But, uh, but it does work in the Big Shot, the, the other big, the Vagabond, 
and some other Sizzix or, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, probably the bigger big, sh uh, big Shot, I guess is what it's called. Didn't say anything about Cuddlebug, but those are very similar. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder. I don't know. All right. And then I have this one here. That is the Essential Glimmer Ovals. And this one just puts little dots, little foil dots, do, 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 wherever. Kind of like what they're showing here. I love that the packaging itself is foiled. That's pretty cool. Um, and then they have dies that go along with this. I think in my other haul, the other um, order that hasn't come in, the one that's on its way, it'll probably be here tomorrow. I didn't check the tracking, but since this one came in in two days, I'm assuming the other one will too. Um, they have dies that go this. I think I bought them if I don't already have them. I checked in my stash of my generic like Spellbinders dies, and some of them you might have as like Classic Labels 10 or whatever, you know. Um, this one, I don't know if this one says what it goes with. Well, it works with S4 1038. So if you have these, you want to get those so you can cut them and make them pretty at the same time. Same thing with this. Like this one works with S4 1037, and these are the squares, uh, Essential Glimmer Squares. They're not all the same. So just because they have squares, you think, oh, they're gonna be work. They're gonna work out. It could be that the other label you have is a different t size of square. I hope that makes sense. Like sometimes they have the ones with scalloped edges, but maybe that one's like this. So they're all a little bit off or something weird. So you want to make sure to get the right label or set for the dies. Um, glimmering layered flowers. Ooh, I, I'm, I don't even remember buying these things <laughs> again. Like I bought them. Uh, I don't know, towards the beginning of the month. Um, so pretty though. Oh, that's, I like that. It has the die and then it has the foil so you can foil it and cut them out and then you can layer them up just like it says. And then this one, I have the frame and somebody had mentioned that they have the foil frame for it and I have the frame frame, the actual die. So that's pretty cool. So I have this one here and it has these gorgeous pieces that you can foil in there. Uh, geometric floral. So keep an eye out. I'm because of these, to be honest, I'm gonna use that foil press way more often because I have some from Crafters Companion. They're really, really expensive. And then um, I just forget to use them because I don't have that many, but these, I like the style way more. So I, I'm really into this. Like this is so cute, the honeycomb alphabet. So it's all the alphabet and then you can cut them out. And then there's three at a time. So you don't have to cut each little individual now, you know, and then wait for the, you know, however, you can cut at least three at a time. You can layer them up however you like. I and mean, I think this is really pretty. Um, and then this one, I just had to get it because of its Christmas sweater borders. And even though it was after Christmas, I don't care. I just want to have it. So I'll have it ready for next year. Look at that. So cute. And even this one isn't overly Christmas. You can just use that for a pattern. I mean, I guess both of these, well, any of them, but this one's more Christmassy, right? So this one is super cute. Um, okay. So this one's the glimmer kit from September of 2020. So it wasn't that long ago, but this is adorable because you can cut it. You can, um, foil into it you know your little rainbow however you want to play with it they have some ideas here but i just i thought this one was adorable so i was really looking forward to grabbing this set and then it has little clouds for the end of your rainbow this is holiday sentiment series two again sometimes when things are super on sale i'll just grab them even though we're past that but i mean how can you not this is pretty much going to cover everything from sentimental like you know just a nice basic sentiment to like you know bah humbug like cute stuff la 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 cute and then, oh, it has the dies. How come I didn't notice that? <laughs> so we have our pretty dies, and this one has a little border and cuts the little holes. So cool, this one has two. And then again, you can mix and match them with the other one, you know, however you want to do this. Pretty cool. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> this is the one, yes, G works with GLP123. Okay, it's in the same. I know later when I went to buy more things, I added like the square, or maybe I have the square here. It's this one. So these two guys work together. And what's interesting is this one already has dies that will cut little holes, which is adorable. And then this one will work with these as far as the nesting of it, you know? So hopefully you can kind of get a, a feel for what I'm talking about. Pretty cool. Oh, this was on sale too. And I think it might still be uh, the show ponies. And this is um, a Jane Davenport set, of course. And I think, yeah. So even though these are glimmer, look at, so cool. I mean, they could have just left them gold. Actually, the dyes aren't really this color, the bronze. The actual color is like a metal color um, underneath that. So the, the same thing here. They just use the teal, you know, whatever they call that. What do they call that? Like plating, I guess. How pretty. And then it has the dyes. Oh, love it. I went wild. All right, flower pattern. <laughs> and this is the only one that I got that was like a big, big guy. Um, look at that. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. 
Okay, and then this is Circle Bliss. And it's just a, a stencil. Um, I've been looking for something that looked like a Moroccan kind of like Moroccan tile stencil. So this is pretty close to that. So I thought that was just pretty. And again, it's called Circle Bliss. Let me show you real quick what's coming up. Um, I should have hopefully soon and then I'll review it and you'll see more about it, but they're really cute. So let me show you one okay. second. I hope my phone doesn't make it too dark, but as you can see, they still have, that's, oh, this is the set I was talking about. Where is it? Right here. See, these are the borders are the ones I showed you in here. And then they have the little elephant. Oh, so cute. I might still get them. <laughs> he might be worth trying to mess with. Um, so again, they still have the new clearance markdowns and then the bonus 25 off of 100. And then again, if you're a club member, that's already reduced by 10%, the other prices pretty much. Um, but and then, oh, we worked out with this today. Oh, actually, we didn't work with this today. We worked with the small die, but this, they're talking about the Glimmer of the Month. And the Glimmer of the Month also has little hearts that go back to pretty much all the hearts that we have. But this one does come with a cutout, too. So, And then the words, which is really nice. This one, that's the one I want to show you. Look at the Easter Bunny. And then he has little babies in the car. <laughs> or she, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um... Where is it? Where is it? So I'm, oh, this is another thing. The Aquarius Glimmer Hot Foil Plates and the Zodiac Signs, all of them. And they're individually uh, done here. And then there's a bunch of new things that go along with that. Um, but I think that's really cool. And then like the Celestial Star background, there's the words that can go with it. There's all kinds of star celestial things, which are awesome. We all know that last stamp club from Tonic sold out within 24 hours that had all that cool stuff. Again, 25 bucks off of 100. So basically 25% off if you pick up things from this. But... I want to show you this. Oh, look at the little Hoppy Sunday Drive. And I know they're little pieces, but I am going to have to pick this up. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the little the little bunnies in the, sitting in the back. Adorable. And then um, the thing that they're sending me is this one here. The Dancing Hearts Etched Dies. So it's just these little hearts that are going to be, you know, kind of fun to play with and nest together and make little uh, characters. So if it's something that you think is cute that you want to get into, maybe it's worth getting in while they have the 25 off 100, you know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's the rainbow foil right there. All right, guys, this is under uh, new arrivals. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, maybe y'all can convince me to come back with a, uh, a busted out more legitimate than just going through my stuff. That was a lot of busting out, guys. <laughs> right? And like I said, keep an eye out. Uh, I'll let you guys know whenever that stuff hits my store and be if I destash things in that way and not just give them to... Um, um, like the Goodwill or Salvation Army, things like that. It just depends on if I think it's something that you guys would think is worth me sending out, right? That's how that works. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you at the next one. Links are in the description box for Spellbinders. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you later today. All right, bye now.